Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, the Tan Superman. It's your boy, Jamari Speaks. I hope everyone out there is having an amazing weekend. Y'all already know what's good with Jamari Thon. I think we're on like day 20, so we're almost already complete with uh, good old Jamari Thon. I know some of y'all are gonna cry when it's over, but I might have something special in tune for y'all too. So many of y'all came out to the live stream yesterday uh, over on the second channel. I'm actually gonna start doing those every single Friday, probably sometime between 11 and uh, 1 o'clock Central Time. So if you wanna come out, be a part of that. Uh, I had a lot of fun, answered a lot of questions. The next one is probably going to be a lot more segmented. I'm going to have just specific things I'm going to have to talk about uh, before the, you know, I even start the stream. So yeah, that went really well. I'm really glad that the live stream, I was able to keep up with all the chat and everything. So that was dope. Today, I'm actually going to be talking about California. They're out here changing their laws to uh, appease to some of these social justice warriors, to, pe to appease uh, the people that are more on the left side of the uh, political spectrum, I suppose. The more extreme leftists, I should say. So let's go check that out, man. They're apparently changing pronouns and changing all these uh, rules around the city. So let's just check this little news story out real quick. Okay, so Berkeley, California has signed an ordinance to eliminate gender-specific language from city code. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, guys, I almost forgot. I got to get my headphones. Arriba! All right, we good to go. Let's check this out. There will be no manholes in Berkeley. City workers will drop into maintenance holes instead. Okay, so pretty much uh, they want to take the word manhole out because I guess that there's so many women that have these jobs where they're having to jump into these sewers. I would like maybe to see the statistics. I would like to see how many women actually work in these types of, uh, I guess it's more of a construction job. Nice Birkenstocks, my guy. So this guy says Berkeley is a sanctuary city. Yeah, it's a sanctuary. If you uh, are on the left, man, it's like the home of all the leftists. Nothing will be man-made in the liberal city, but human-made. Jesus Christ. Don't they have anything better to worry about than changing the pronouns of like just very common things? And students at the University of California, Berkeley would join the collegiate Greek system residencies rather than fraternities and sororities. Oh, so they're even taking away the gender identity from a fraternity and sorority. So if I go over there and I go to that school, can I be like, eight? Hey, there's no gender identity. Y'all gotta let me into your sorority house. What, are y'all gonna have a pillow fight? Am I gonna see some titties? Am I gonna see some titties? Berkeley leaders voted unanimously this week to replace about 40 gender-specific words in the city code with gender-neutral terms. Okay, so if it was a unanimous vote, I'm gonna assume that literally everyone working over at Berkeley is under some type of liberal ideology. Now, I'm not saying that's bad by any means, but I'm just saying there's more important things that you probably have to focus on than this. Who is really fighting for this? Really, they all seem to be on the same page. And if y'all ever heard of groupthink, you know, you young kids, you might not know exactly what groupthink is. It's pretty much a company, they end up failing because everyone thinks the same way. And so you might all think, oh, it's a great idea. But if there's not that one devil's advocate there that says, nah, it's it's not a good idea let me check you real quick on why it's not a good idea then you're just going to keep going along with this group think you know because the group is all thinking the same way and this is the downfall of a lot of companies a lot of businesses just a lot of even civilizations before group think has destroyed many things in this world so let's look at some of these okay you can no longer call someone your brother apparently you have to call them your sibling Seriously? Bondsman is a bonds person. Chairman is a chair or a chairperson. Craftsman is a craftspeople or artesian. Firewoman, fireman. Now they're just called firefighters. So pretty much I guess that they're trying to make it cool for you to be in the middle of both genders, which I don't know about that, man. I I I'm I feel you know, you can go and flip onto the other gender if you want, if you want to be uh, transsexual, but you need to identify as something. It's going to start getting real dangerous out here if people just aren't ident identifying as anything. Okay, so you have to either identify as a man or identify as a woman, but in my opinion, this isn't helping anyone, and uh, you know, you're just pandering to a very small percentage of the population. An effort to be more inclusive that's drawing both praise and scorn. Yeah, I can see why this is drawing both praise and scorn, because on one side, you're like, okay, good, we're we're being more progressive, but on the other side, you're like, hey, bro, don't we have more important uh, things to worry about that 40 people, these 40 very probably powerful, more specific people need to be uh, dealing with? That's what I would think. That means manpower will become human effort or workforce. Okay, I mean, 
I'm cool with that, don't get me wrong, but you guys have to think there are some workforces that are completely dominated by men, just like how there are some workforces that are completely dominated by women, and for men, one of them is construction. So it's nice to make everyone want to feel good, but the people that are actually in the fields having to do this work are going to have to deal with these repercussions when they're all a bunch of men. We live in a very soft society today where everything offends, you know, somebody. Someone's going to be offended no matter what you say, so that's why I never, you know, I don't bite my tongue, I don't... I'm not afraid to say what I want because no matter what, someone's going to be offended by the things you say. While masculine and feminine pronouns like she, her, he, and him will be replaced by they and them. Okay, that's so stupid, you know, because that's really just giving description to the type of person they are. Like, is it a man? Is it a woman? We kind of need to know in some situations. Okay, just for safety purposes. I don't know how I really feel about this, you know? Is this a is this like a citywide thing or is this just like for locations? So I'm I'm not really sure. Removing gender terms has been slowly happening for decades in the United States. Yeah, but where? I can't see this happening in Texas. Maybe in Austin, Texas, I could see this happening. But in all the other cities, uh, I just don't really see it happening. I don't think en enough people are going to care enough for this type of stuff. I mean, even if you're a trans, you know, a transgender, I don't think a lot of them even, you know, they might care that you call them by their right pronoun or whatever. But other than that, I don't think that they need this special of treatment. I don't think that that's what they're really going after. I think it's more important that, you know, if they're a man who's transitioned to a woman, you call her, you call that person ma'am. And if it's a man who's trans or a woman who's transitioned to a man, you call that person sir. That's what's important to them is not misidentifying them. Oh, I guess that's the end. You know, I got mixed feelings about that. The only thing I really think is wrong with it is I think that they have much more important things that they need to focus on than, you know, worrying about the correct pronoun to call someone. I mean, is it really going to ruin some woman's whole day if they say, hey, go get in that manhole? I don't think so. I mean, I'm mixed on this one. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you really think it's that important? Is there any uh, trans people out there watching or anyone that's real close to a... Um, someone transitioning or anything like that let me know maybe what that specific person thinks about this and if it really is as revolutionary as uh good old cal berkeley is making it seem but overall guys i hope you enjoyed the video today i hope you enjoyed the main channel upload a little scarce double upload today so yeah man i hope y'all had a good time and uh i'll catch y'all tomorrow man i uh, got some stuff to go do so i'm out peace